Hello friends, again I am here with a new case of probability. <clears throat> the problem is two vacancies exist at the junior executive level of a certain company. 20 people that means 14 men and 6 women are eligible and equally qualified. The company has decided to draw two names at random from the list of the eligible then what is the probability of number one women will fill both the positions number two at least women will fill one of the positions and number three women will fill neither of the positions okay total there are 20 eligible and equally qualified persons and two of them are to be selected at random that means first of all we have to find the total number of possible cases and that will be 20c2 and 20c2 is 20 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 20 minus 2 factorial that is 20 into 19 into 18 factorial upon 2 into 1 into 18 factorial so it comes to 190 that means there are 190 mutually exclusive ways of selecting two persons out of a list of 20 190 Okay, now the first sub question is women will fill both the positions. That means both the positions are filled by women. Probability of women on all two positions. So the favorable cases will be 6C2 divided by total number of cases 20C2. Now we know that 6C2, what is the value of NC2? That is N into N minus 1 divided by 2. So 6C2 means 6 into 6 minus 1, that is 5 divided by 2, that means 15. So the value of 6C2 is 15, and we know that value of 20C2 is 190. So it is 15 upon 190. Let us divide both by 5. It comes to 3 by 38. The second sub question is at least woman will fill one of the positions, or at least one position is filled by woman. But I will prefer to get the answer of the third question first. Woman will fill neither of the positions. That means no woman is selected out of 6. No woman is selected out of 6 or... Okay, I am not going to change the order. Let us calculate the probability that at least woman will fill one of the positions. At least woman will fill one of the positions. At least one position will be filled by woman. That means the required probability will be either one position is filled by woman. That means one woman and one man is selected. Or both the positions are filled by woman. That means on all the two positions women are selected. That means two out of six and none out of fourteen. Yes, the value of 6C1 is 6 and 14C1 is 14 upon 190 plus 6C2 is 15 and 14C1, 14C0 is 1 upon 190, 190 becomes LCM. So 84 upon 190 plus 14 upon 190, sorry not 14 but 15 upon 190. That means 99 upon 190. 
Now the third case or third sub question is woman will fill neither of the position. Probability that woman will fill neither of the position. Woman will fill neither of the position. That means no woman will be selected out of six. No woman out of 6, 6 is 0. That means all the two are selected out of 14 men. So ultimately the probability can be calculated as 6 is 0 into 14 C2 divided by 20 C2. Now what is 14 C2? 14 C2 equals to 14 into 14 minus 1 divided by 2 that is 91. So... 1 into 91 divided by 190 that means it is 91 upon 190 we can see that the summation of these two probabilities comes to 1 99 plus 91 190 because these two are complementary either no woman will be selected or at least one woman will be selected so, the probability of two complement events is always, rather total of probabilities of two complement events is always 1, 99 by 190 plus 91 by 190, the total comes to 1. That is just the additional comment by me. I hope you understand the problem or other solution of the problem. Thank you and best of luck.